Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Airborne early warning platforms are force multipliers. Considering the declining strength of Indian Air Force fighter jets squadron, it is nearly impossible for Air Force to maintain 24 by 7 surveillance. This is why airborne warning systems are required. They are equipped with long range radars and passive sensors capable of detecting air and surface contacts over large distances. Information collected by them can be transmitted directly from aircraft to other users on land, at sea or in the air in near real time. These are called force multipliers for an air force because of their wide area coverage, longer range, generally more than 400 plus km and higher endurance. The airborne early warning systems have capability to detect and track incoming fighter jets, cruise missiles and drones much before the ground-based radars can. Indian Air Force at present operates three Netra AWNC developed on Embraer EMB-145 and three Falcon AWOX developed on Ilushin IL-76 platform by Israel Aerospace. On September 2021, the Cabinet Committee on Security chaired by PM Narendra Modi had cleared nearly 11,000 crore project for DRDO to develop six new airborne early warning and control aircraft for Indian Air Force. The six aircraft on which the AWNC will be built is Airbus A321 from Air Indian Fleet. These aircraft is to undergo modification before it can be handed over to DRDO for integration of electronics, radars, satcoms, avionics required for the AWNC. On 4th August 2022, addressing to media query, the Chief of Air Staff told that AWNC is being developed on Airbus A321 platform. The design and development of AWNC is expected to complete in another five years. Six AWNC will be inducted by Indian Air Force by the end of the year 2030. DRDO has started the work and fabrication process for various components such as radar antennas for Nitra Mark II. It will be first tested on Anusandhan followed by developmental trials on Airbus A321. The Center for Airborne System CAPS will be in charge of developing six new AWNC for Indian Air Force on which the work has started. Now let's try to understand the capability of upcoming Nitra Mark II AWNC. The Mark II is expected to provide more coverage than its predecessor. Mark I has coverage of 240 degrees. The Mark II is expected to have coverage between 270 to 300 degrees. It will be equipped with scaled up variant of AC radar that has previously been used in Mark I. Mark II will have more scan range. Since A321 is a bigger aircraft than ERJ-145, the radar can be packed with more transmitter and receiver modules and more power can be derived from the much powerful engines to meet the additional power requirement of the scaled up radar. The Mark II is expected to have range in excess of 500 km and will be able to detect less observable targets such as drones and stealth fighters. It will incorporate SATCOM, data link, identification of friend and foe systems, electronic countermeasure systems, self-production suite, chaff dispenser and dual auxiliary power unit. The main component of Nitra is an AEC based active antenna array unit which is its primary radar. It consists of two radiating panel arrays assembled back to back and mounted on the top of the fuselage. It will feature one of the most advanced IFF which will be also integrated with future fighter jets of Indian Air Force including Tapas, Tejas Mark II, AMCA and even MR Samadar system. The aircraft will also feature wide band global SATCOM with secure communication under the line of sight or beyond line of sight conditions. As per latest tender document of DRDO, the AASA weather radar at the nose cone seems to have shifted at the top of fuselage at the visible blister. Nitra Mark II is going to be a derivative of indigenously developed Uttam AASA radar. A forward-looking infrared search and track IRST system can also be seen in the mid-section of fuselage which could be an advanced electro-optical targeting system or EOTS type system. 
This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.